In this lecture, I'm going to talk about three camera angles that you can implement in Create Studio that will convey emotion, either superiority, inferior, inferiority, or neutrality. Unfortunately, there are five camera angles, but there's really only three that we can play with. Left and right don't work so well. So let's take a look at the five camera angles and the three that we can use in Create Studio. So the five camera angles are center, which is most of the time where we shoot our uh, Create Studio videos, right? And then there's left and right, and there really isn't an ability to go left and right because these aren't true 3D characters. But there is up and down, and what you can do is you can simulate that by making the top and the bottom of the character look larger. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here we have a camera center view of the 3D character Emma. And you can see everything's in proportion and it's a straight on view. This is a neutral camera view. It doesn't really suggest anything as far as emotion. Here's a camera down superiority look. So you can see that what's happened is that the top of Emma has gotten smaller and the bottom has gotten larger. This is what happens to a character when you move the camera down. And when you're looking up at a character, that conveys superiority. Now the exact opposite is to look down at a character. And you can see in comparison, Emma looks much more inferior than in the previous shot. So center shot, neutral, Bottom shot, which you can assimilate by making the top of the character small and the bottom large, is superiority. And camera up, shooting down, which you're going to simulate by making the top of the character large and the bottom small, is inferiority. Now, what I want to do is I want to jump over to Create Studio and show you how to implement these effects. So here I am in Create Studio with the Emma character in an idle action position. And you can see that this is a neutral camera angle. Undoubtedly, this is where we shoot all of our Create Studio videos, just dead on. But I wanna give you an idea of what else you can do. I can change the X rotation here of the character. Let's go for superiority. All I've gotta do is change the X rotation to say about negative 70 and the top of the character becomes small and the bottom large. Now, if I want this character to fill the screen, which they should because they're a large superior character, I just do something like this and let's fit to screen. Now you can see what we're doing is we're looking up at the character because what's far away here, the head has become small and the feet have become large. The character looks superior. They're looking down at people. Now what happens if I completely flip this to 70 degrees instead of negative 70? Now, all of a sudden, my characters become inferior because I'm looking down at them. The head has become large and the feet very small. So that's your three camera angles. Neutral in the center. Go negative. I found that 70 is the best degrees in the X rotation. We'll make the head small and the feet large if you go negative 70. If you go 70, it'll make the head large and the feet small. And you probably want your superior character to fill the screen to look even larger and your inferior character to fill less of the screen to look smaller. And that's using the three available camera angles to convey neutrality, superiority, and inferiority. So here's a summary of the three camera angles. If we make the top of the character small and the bottom large to show a camera up superiority shot, 
we make the top of the character large and the bottom small, it's going to also make the face and the head look big and doughy-eyed. You notice how babies' heads are large and so are the eyes? It makes them look cute and vulnerable. So make the top of the character large and the bottom small to show a camera down inferiority shot. So that's your three camera angles that are available. In the next lecture, we're going to look at camera movement, and this is really important. The more you move the camera, the more you're going to make your videos interesting. So we'll look at zoom and pan, and I'll see you in that lecture.